Okay, we're looking at an Uno and a Mega connected together. This is IT Duino Mega, so it has all 100 pins broken out from the chip. All right, we have the, the Uno is connected to the Mega via hardware SPI. The Uno is configured in master mode and the Mega is configured in slave mode. Now, then the slave is connected by UART to two ADC breakout boards. So we have UARTs one and two connected here. So in other words, we have master to slave SPI here and then master to slave SPI twice there. What's going on is the, the master is polling the slave for data from the, from the ADCs and the, and the slave is constantly polling the ADCs to collect new data. Here we see what's happening. We see the results. You can see here is the output of the UNO and here's the output of the uh, Arduino, our UT Arduino. So if we reset, you'll see I'm going to reset the IT Arduino and it's now waiting for an init call. Now I reset the UNO and now it received the init, which, which you can see here, we get the time of T0 and we get the Q, which, which momentarily expanded. And now we're looking at all the results. And if we stop the scrolling, we can examine some of the results. So here we see, there we go, let's go up a little bit more. Here we see the results. We get the, the timestamps and the values. And uh, for some reason, it continues to scroll, even though I told it to stop scrolling, but you know what I mean. That's the best we can do. This is not, this is open source. Nothing happens as you'd like it to happen. In any case, that's what we're looking at. The values are coming in and we're getting correct values, zero and three volts, zero and three volts, zero and three volts, zero and three volts. And that is uh, a successful program.